you looking for an easy recipe that is healthy, immune boosting, and tastes great? I have an orange banana smoothie recipe for you today. It tastes like a vegan orange Julius. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie and this is Clean Eating Kitchen where I share real food recipes that make you feel great. Everyone is trying to avoid getting sick right now, so I wanted to share this immune boosting recipe. Each serving includes two whole oranges, which is almost 300% of the recommended daily value for vitamin C. You're not going to believe how easy it is to make this orange smoothie that tastes like a vegan creamsicle. It only has three ingredients. Let me show you exactly how to make it. So the, so the first, first step, step is to grab four whole oranges. You can use navel oranges, karakara oranges, or whatever type you can find. And give your oranges a quick wash just to rinse off any dirt, and then pat them dry. And one reason this smoothie is so healthy is because we're using the whole orange except for the peel, but we're getting the fiber and the other micronutrients from the pulp and some of the white part of the orange. And the white part is actually called the pith and it's full of fiber and vitamin C as well, but it can be bitter. So we don't want to use too much of it, but a little bit is very healthy and you won't taste it in the smoothie. And so, just add your orange pieces to a bowl and then we're going to grab the next ingredient which is some frozen banana and this will add thickness and a little bit of extra sweetness. You can also use frozen mango. And then the last ingredient is to add some healthy fat and I'm using these coconut chunks that I found at my local warehouse store which you can make yourself by freezing coconut milk into ice cube trays. And then what we're going to do is add all of our ingredients to the blender. And I also recommend adding about a fourth to a half a cup of filtered water as well, which will prevent the smoothie from being too thick and it's just the perfect consistency. So just throw everything in your high speed blender, process it for about 45 seconds until it's completely smooth and blended. And the last step is to pour your smoothie into drinking glasses and enjoy it immediately because vitamin C tends to dissipate when it comes into contact with oxygen. Thanks for watching everybody. I will link to my playlist of other vegan and gluten-free recipes that you might want to check out. I'll link that right up here. And I also want to send you my sincere wishes that you stay healthy and safe during this chaotic time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.